Hi everybody, I'm Sabra, your British University English teacher, and I have a very simple lesson for you today, but an important one I feel, as we have lots of sports coming up now in the coming year, and so there's the Premier League, things like that. So it's important to pronounce UK cities and UK places correctly. Many of you are in fact saying these wrong. So let's have a look today at 10 UK places you're saying wrong. So number one is Leicester. Leicester, which is actually the place I'm in now. I live in Leicestershire. If you ever see sh, shire, it looks like, on the end of the British counties, we have lots of shires, Hampshire, Northamptonshire, Buckinghamshire, Leicestershire. Basically, that is not said shire, it's sh, Leicestershire. But coming back to Leicester, it's just said le Ster. All those other confusing letters, just forget them. It's just Leicester. You don't say that C, for example. When Leicester won the Premier League, I know lots of the European countries were following, you follow our Premier League, and it was a couple of years ago that Leicester won. There was lots of funny videos going around all about how it was mispronounced by many commentators from different cities in Europe, saying Leicester, Leicester, all kinds of things like that. But it's in fact Leicester. Practice this along with me. It was amazing when Leicester won the Premier League. Number two is Birmingham. Birmingham, the city where the, the famous programme, the Peaky Blinders, is set. Birmingham, it's not Birmingham, Birmingham, anything like that, it's Birmingham. That ham part at the end, we have a silent H in fact, it's just an um, Birmingham. It's an uh sound, not an ah, that's why it's not ham. So if you were ever saying Birmingham, it's very wrong, it's Birmingham. Practice this along with me. I love Peaky Blinders, it's set in Birmingham. Next one, oh, this is a hard one because the spelling is so misleading. This one is Edinburgh, Edinburgh. So it's not Edinburgh as it looks like, Edinburgh, it's actually Edinburgh, Edinburgh, Edinburgh. So there is an R in there, but it's not quite in the place you expect, it's Edinburgh, Edinburgh. So be careful with that one, it's easy to get it wrong, Edinburgh. Practice this along with me. Do you like the city of Edinburgh? While we're staying in Scotland, let's go to another Scottish city. This one is Glasgow. Glasgow, I've heard this said Glasgow many times. It's actually Glasgow. It's a nice soft O, not an ow. It's not like ow is in cow, it's an O, Glasgow. So practice this along with me. Have you ever been to Glasgow? Next one, number five. Next one is Manchester, Manchester. And you want to make sure you get the, the stress right here. It's on the man. Manchester. Manchester. I've heard people say Manchester, Manchester. It's Manchester. Next one is Gloucester. Now this is another example of an English word where we have a silent C, just like in Leicester. It's Gloucester. It's just Gloucester. It's actually very easy, the pronunciation. So practice this along with me. Have you heard all about the Earl of Gloucester? Remember, those ERs in English are normally schwa, they're usually an uh, Manchester, Gloucester. Number seven, the place where I grew up and went to school is Bournemouth. Oh, my love, I love Bournemouth. Now, please be careful not to say Bournemouth, because although it looks like that, it's not that. That mouth becomes a muth, Bournemouth, Bournemouth. So it's just born and you forget the E, it's silent, muth. Bournemouth. Please come and visit the lovely town of Bournemouth. We have some of the best beaches in Europe, don't you know? Next one, we're going up north for this one. This is Newcastle. Castle is a difficult word to pronounce in English. Remember, it's got that silent T. Castle, castle. Newcastle, Newcastle, stressed on the new, Newcastle. What do you think of Newcastle? Remember that northerners say that long R as an A ah in many cases, like in the word castle, so they'll say Newcastle, which is of course absolutely right as well, and both are, are accepted in the dictionary, so it could either be Newcastle or Newcastle. Practice this along with me. The nickname of people from Newcastle is Geordies. Number nine, Yorkshire. Yorkshire. This is an example of where that shire just becomes a sh. Yorkshire. Yorkshire. The famous book, Wuthering Heights, was set in the Yorkshire Moors. Number 10, oh, tricky one. This is 
Durham. This is a very beautiful old city. This is Durham and this has a silent H. It's just Durham, Durham. No H there at all. Practice this along with me. Did you know Durham has an excellent university, one of the highest rated in the country? So there you go, guys. If there are more that you can't pronounce, please do tell me about that in the comments below and I'll consider making another video. We have lots of videos about travel in the UK, so please do let us know where you like to visit in the UK and do you pronounce it correctly? Leave a comment below and tell us. As well as that, please tell us places in your country that are popular with tourists but get mispronounced. Leave a comment below and tell us how do we say it correctly. We'll see you soon on Love English and do come and visit the beautiful UK. Bye-bye.